Your wife, Marissa, she was on uh, Discovery Channel, right? She was. Snake-tacular. Snake-tacular. It's like, uh, do you hear about like, uh, Shark Week? There's Shark Week, and now there's a uh, snake-tacular. So, if you're in Africa, it doesn't, doesn't work. I just don't pick up uh, red skin. I cook them. Do you want to give them a nice little pat? I kind of do it. Okay, well, how would you guys feel it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people have said Wallow looks like a turtle tough shell. Give it up for uh, Andrew Hall Ooh. from the realm, the crowd, realm of the Reptile, based out of Akron, Ohio, which is amazing. So I went to the website. This, this website looks legit. You guys are like, and you missed these guys at Kid Fest last year. You're going to want to check them out this Saturday. I think $5 gets you into the whole thing. And you're gonna, you actually brought some of your friends into the Mix 941 studio. This is the first, I think, I think we've never had any uh, reptiles in studio before. This is kind of exciting. Mm -hmm. But Andrew, let's, let's talk about the realm of the reptile story. How did this whole thing start? It's you and your wife, Marissa, mm -hmm. and That's you have right. a whole team of people that are involved with reptiles. That's right. That's right. It, it got started 23 years ago. Wow. Yes. Which is crazy because you don't look that old. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. Well, my wife is the founder, okay. and she did her first animal show when she was about 12 years old. 12? That's right. Wow. I'm trying to think, and that's kind of cool then. This is actually her passion. She didn't just like fall into this. This is like something she's always wanted to do. She it. loves animals. Okay. She loves animals. And she loves the curiosity of animals, the exploration of animals, uh, seeing them in their natural habitat. Uh, the brand video that she did like nine years ago, which is on our website, probably why you fell in love with the website, really. Uh, was just all about her being out in nature and really loving these animals with how they're different. You know, she says in the in the video, I like birds, but you can't really touch a bird. You know, they're kind of always flying around somewhere. Right. But you can catch a reptile. You can touch a reptile. Sure. You can experience them. And so um, she also loved dogs. But her brother, Joel, was allergic to animal hair. Ah. Yeah. So that got... Uh, I got thrown out the window. Okay, so that obviously the next obvious step was was something that hairless hurt. things. <laughs> exactly, yes, right. hairless things. So, uh, what were some of the hairless things? Um, frogs. She had a toad called Tanchen because it had a Tanchen, and uh, <laughs> a Tanchen. <laughs> that's right. She got some lizards, and then one day, her mother, my mother-in-law, Nancy Dubina, because uh, Marissa's from Canton. She's, yeah. Uh, Cantonite, if you will. Okay, yeah. I was a police officer for 30, 40 years okay. in the Camp Police Department. And uh, Marissa Dubina was the most interesting person in 2015. Start County. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Start County. Look at that. Most interesting person. Yeah. But and now she's part, she's part of your team. Well, she is the team. She is, she is the team. She's like she's the, the, it all. the inventor of Realm of the Reptile. And, and you're actually from Texas. I'm from Texas. So how did you meet up with Marissa then? Well, that was an interesting story. So I had a friend who had a friend who was a friend of Marissa's. Okay. And our two friends were both like, hey, you don't want to be a part of this online Facebook group, which was about like Christian conservative dating. And I was we were like, yeah, I don't, I don't think so. Not for me. And then they were like, well, you two should meet. And then Marissa and I were, uh, that's how we got connected. And, then, that. and the yeah, rest is history. Yeah, we did some long distance dating. And then uh, about a year after, a little less than a year after we, we started officially dating in September, less than a year later, we got married. And I moved up to here because I was doing business coaching, which you can do from anywhere. So You're right. You can do anything anywhere now. That's, well, live animal shows, I don't know about Well, that. that's true. Yeah, you gotta, yeah. Well, you can do like a YouTube thing, which you obviously do. You're on YouTube. You guys are everywhere on social media. Realm of the Reptile. You can that's check right. them out online. That's right. And more than anything, check them out in person this Saturday. You actually brought some friends. I did. I did. Um, we're going to talk about that in a couple of seconds here. They don't bark, though. You, <laughs> when people go to the show on uh, on uh, Saturday, are, are you going to do like is it an interactive thing? Can folks oh, touch absolutely. these? Oh, they can. Absolutely. So what I got together with you guys... Um, Mix 94.1 is we're going to do a live animal show. Okay, and so uh, one of our trained presenters, which is going to be Emily Wilhite. So Marissa and I are having our fifth year wedding anniversary mm -hmm. on that day, the wow. March 30th. Right. But Emily, who's been a primary performer for Roman Reptile for over a year, as a matter of fact, she was doing animal shows the same time that Marissa and I were bringing our first child into the world. Look at that. So that's the power of a team. We, you know, I heard. 
want to quote a long time ago, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go with people. Sure. That makes so, a lot of sense. We don't do everything anymore. I don't take calls anymore. We've got a team for that. And so we just divide and conquer. We all support people. And we wanted to provide good opportunities for other people who are looking for ways to make money. And you can make some friends this Saturday at uh, Candy Kid Fest with uh, Realm of the Reptile. Gets, how many uh, folks, how many friends are you going to bring down to uh, the Kid Fest on Saturday? Not you, but not you, but Emily. Yeah, Emily. It's really, it's really up to her. But we typically bring about ten reptiles okay. to a performance. Yeah. We get through as many as we can in the time allotted. I think we're going to do forty-five minutes of presentation where we're going to do a live interactive show that's fun, engaging. We're going to have live uh, volunteers come up on stage, maybe put a snake around somebody's neck, mm -hmm. give somebody else, like, I don't know, put a bearded dragon on their shoulder. Okay. Just depends, right? It's ebb and flow. We don't know which animals we're going to bring either because one of them could go into shed between now and Saturday. And we're like, oh, well, you're off, you're off duty. It's, you're, it's, you're very, it's very fluid. It's a very fluid situation. But yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll be honest with you, I'm not a big snake guy. In fact, when I was a kid, I had a violent nightmare. Oh, you did? Was this directly after watching Aladdin? Too? No, but you, know, you probably don't know this movie. I don't even know this movie. My mom tells me there was a movie in the 70s called and it's about snakes. It's like, it's like a, it's a scary oh, movie, but it wasn't scary enough that they didn't show it on like primetime TV one time. Oh. And I was probably two, two or three. And I'm, that wasn't like I still watching the mid-70s, you know, when yeah. I was a kid. Yeah. So, the five uh, channels that were on. Yeah, TV. exactly. So the, apparently the movie called Sss was on, and my mom let me watch it when I was like, it was like I'm two years old. Uh, and apparently later that night, I had a violent nightmare that snakes were at the bottom of my bed and they were attacking me. Attacking you. And my father had to pretend to take the snakes out and uh, I don't want to upset you because you're a snake. He had to kill the snakes. Oh. Yeah. Good. I'm what okay a hero. now. What a hero. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So he took the imaginary snakes out of your bedroom and killed them. And I'm fine. That's good. I'm fine. Are you sure? Do I, I, I don't know. know. We'll find out we'll in a minute when, when, when Andrew <laughs> from Realm of the Reptile brings out some of his friends here in the Big Study Performance Studio. Don't Absolutely. Forget. You get there early if you want to get seat. Last year when we were there, the line outside was like wrapped around the building it felt like so it's crazy get yeah. there early get inside get a good seat get your popcorn ready for the show and by the way the reptile show is not extra uh, cost it's it's, it's five dollars for the whole thing yeah and you can come down and enjoy all the fun at camp kid fest but uh around with the reptile on youtube your wife marissa she was on uh, discovery channel right she was snake tacular snake tacular this is like uh you hear about like uh, shark week there's shark week and now there is a uh, snake tacular snake tacular That's now is your wife like the premier snake expert in the country because i mean she definitely knows her stuff for sure well i appreciate the good marketing as if that were the case but i don't know how who defines that you know there's no association of who the expert in the country is but sure we'll take it i would imagine it's a national thing we'll, we'll be honest yeah i mean i would imagine it's a small group of people maybe that are uh, it depends on what you're going for. So yeah. If it's um, if it's catching snakes in the wild, that's not something that we specialize in. <laughs> right. <laughs> if it's entertainment at you know schools, church, festivals, birthday parties, then I'd say we we put our hat in there with the the best of the nation. Now, any of your reptile friends are they? Uh... I'm not saying you know, say violent. Are they aggressive? Do you have, have you had any bites on you or any, any sort of situations happen? I can honestly say I've been bitten more by dogs than I have by snakes. Look at that. Now, see, that is interesting. That sort of makes sense, too, though, I guess. Because <laughs> dogs bite you a lot? No. <laughs> no. You interact with dogs more than you would a snake. Or yeah, I suppose that's a good point. But even me, the snake handler. Yeah. Know, okay. I, I'm the one you know who was feeding them for years on it. So. Uh, and finally, it's going to be very hands-on this Saturday at Ken Kid Fest. You want to come down with the kids and they can you know, touch the, the, the snakes and the reptiles and all the stuff that's going on. That's right. So we've got like the 45-ish minutes of presentation where it'll be more of like a stage setting. There'll be an audience. Volunteers will come up. But then afterwards, we're going to have a big line, single file, where everybody can get their picture taken with one of our reptiles. And Emily's going to be the one deciding that the day of. Okay. But uh, yeah, you can get your picture taken and then get a chance to touch or hold. Puddle, don't kiss my reptile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can experience that animal and get a picture. Of it. I love it. I love it. Oh, I want to see some of your friends right now. Andrew, right. Uh, and by the way, in a couple minutes, we're going to post some of these uh, photos on our social media at Mix Ninety Four One Radio. But uh, Andrew's got uh, some sort of a uh, box here. I'm box it. It. It's a box, and you know, he's got a unveiling the box here. Case on the outside. Okay. Cover, so we don't know the mystery oh, is about to be revealed. It's the big reveal. Who it is? It is. Ooh. Oh. Okay, I right. see the box turtle. It's a turtle. It's a very cute little turtle. Yeah. And what, what's the uh, turtle? Uh, boxy. Boxy. The box turtle. The box. Oh, I get it. The very, box very turtle. turtle. It's a type yes. of turtle. That's right. right. He's an Ohio native. Okay. That's right. And uh, he's super friendly. He's great at shows. Look at him. Like, I got to take a photo with us. It's fantastic. Fun guy getting around. Showing. I, I, sometimes I do turtle races at my birthday parties when I'm around doing uh, those. Let me get a close up of uh, uh, Boxy. Time. Boxy over here, say cheese. Yeah, there you go. He's posing. Right so, here. how old is Boxy? 
I don't know. Boxy was a wild cock tortoise. I mean, okay, lost right here. Maybe you don't have any idea. So, no idea. So, um, but a how little bit like, like tree rings, sometimes yeah. on the scoots with some types of box turtles, you can count the rings okay. on each of their scoots and you can get an approximation. This is a full grown turtle. Okay, it looks like he's acclimated quite well to the Mix 94 One studio. Okay. Okay. Oh, I think he'd love to have like some headphones on, listen yeah. to some beats. <laughs> right. right. And so turtles actually do hear, they have ears, and so they can listen to things. And actually, one of my other box turtles really enjoys listening to music. I love it. What, what does he like? What kind of music does he vibe to? Uh, I think he mostly likes praise and worship music. Yeah, like kind of modern music? praise and worship music, like the drums and all that type of okay, stuff. Okay, like, that makes sense. Just yeah. the vibrations and everything. Yeah, sure. yeah, it's really what he jams out to. Well, Boxy's and then, Boxy's a pretty good looking turtle. I'm not a big, I'm not a turtle expert by any means, like you are, but I mean, he looks, he looks pretty cute actually. Well, let me show you one of his cool tricks. Here. Yeah. Right. So after he does a little walk. He can tilt back, and this is called the shell, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody knows what the shell is. Yeah. But this is the carapace on top, and this is called the plastron. And he can actually fold in his plastron, and he can close his plastron like a box flap. Isn't that fascinating? Hence why they're called box, box turtles. Here you go. See, this is the kind of stuff you can learn this Saturday at Camp Kid Fest. That's right. Uh, Emily from Realm of the Reptiles is going to be out there with a whole bunch of different reptiles for you to touch and look at and experience and learn about. Right. Um, so what else you got in your bag of tricks over here, Andrew? Well, this is like uh, you got all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Boxy, nice meeting you, buddy. Hello. Hi. Is that how he sounds? <laughs> yeah, that's how he sounds at the parties. Oh man, he's great. So uh, who else do we want to bring? By the way, you check out the yeah. Realm of the Reptile YouTube page. Four minutes, chance. ten minutes, twenty Whatever minutes. Stuff. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what's that? It's not an iguana. It's not, it's an, iguana. not an iguana. This is called a chuck wallow lizard. Wow. And these two are named. You want to guess? Oh no, I don't. Chuck. And Walla. Oh, <laughs> very clever, Andrew. I love it. Yeah, Chuck Walla lizards are native to America, typically like this, Arizona, Utah. So how do they Walla acclimate to the Ohio uh, elements? They live in a cage. They live in a cage. In a cage, yes, and that cage is temperature to them. So and all the different animals that we have are, you know, they're all separated okay. and they're all exclusive to their own environment. So these guys have like a type of sand. In there, they've got rocks that they can bask on, hot lamps, etc. So, are all these uh, reptiles are they housed in the same location in Akron, or are they at different locations? And we do have two facilities. Okay. Yeah. Wow. But um, one of our cool facilities, we actually have given some private tours uh, for people that can't, have, like during COVID, sometimes people are going to go out to do birthday parties with yeah. the masses. So we actually gave private tours of our facility there, where you got to experience different things, all the different animals that we have. The yeah. problem is right now, Joe. I want to do a back to school event. Awesome. I love it. Give us a call. Go to our website, actually. It's realmoftherreptile.com. That's right. Great YouTube channel as well. You can see some of the clips that uh, Marissa did for Discovery Channel as well. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. Um, so these guys are cute. As, and I got to ask what else is in the bag over here? This is like, it's like turning into Jack Hanna's uh, show all of a sudden. I love it. <laughs> hey, once in all come out. Perfect. Well, we'll get through as many as we can here. Yeah. Chuck, you want to give him a nice little pat? I, I kind of do it. Okay, wow. Is that what you thought it would feel like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Some people have said Walla looks like a turtle without a shell. A little bit? It's like a naked turtle? <laughs> you know what it is. Well, turtles don't come out of their shells. Not a very fun fact, but it's true. Yeah, I, I get it. Their shells are them. So never take a turtle out of its shell. <laughs> or a shell. No, never take a turtle out of its shell. Turtle catches it is the shell. shell. I love it. It is the shell. All right, what else do we have in here? We well, went to the bag of awesome. Oh, he's, he's getting out the bag of awesome, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> What is this? Well, I've got a gift for you, good sir. Voila! What is this? What is this? This is... Ooh, a it's a very nice photo. gift for Mix 94.1. I love it. We're going to put it right here in the Mix 94.1 studio. We were it's talking about that on WHBC Talk Radio earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, Sandy was the first snake for us that ever got. Still vibrant, still healthy. Really? So how old is she, roughly? I mean, probably north of 20. Wow, that's great. And how long do they, they live for? I mean, what's So what's I've met a snake that's 38. Um, wow. Yeah, when I went back the next year or the year after, uh, he had passed away. So it was about 40. Okay. Yeah. It's a nice life. Huh? Yeah, better than my golden retriever. So. Yeah, right. <laughs> you have separation anxiety, though. Get a turtle. But the coral snakes also try color. With these same colors, just a, a different pattern. And in different parts of the air, of the world, they're all different patterns. So right. don't, don't go with the phrase about the jack and the yellow and the black. That only works in a specific area of the world. So if you're in Africa, it doesn't, doesn't work. Okay. Just don't pick up uh, a red snake. I, 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 <laughs> what's the name of the snake again? 
milkshake, the milk snake. Milkshake. I want to get a photo with milkshake for the Instagram so everybody can see this amazing. We're gonna give you a necklace of milkshake. I'm gonna. I'll we're gonna it. overcome the fear. We're gonna make it happen. Make it, because this one was not in your bed. You know. <laughs> yeah, it was a years. This ago. was not in my bed when I was two years old, attacking me, and I was screaming horrifically as my father pretended to kill the snake in my bed. You know what? You know why people are scared of snakes? Close your ears. Milkshake. Media. Is that what? That's you know. Unless you watch the movie when the snake was the good guy. That's true. Ever. They need a better agent. They need a better marketing they director. They need a better marketing director for the snakes. <laughs> now, I have to say, the Bible probably doesn't help if you go back in time, right? It goes way back. <laughs> it goes way back. Pictures of the serpent. Predates radio. That's for sure. And movies. <laughs> right? Will you give me some of these guys uh, this Saturday at Canton Kid Fest? Uh, Andrew and the crew from our uh, Realm of the Reptile. Check out the website. If you have a birthday party, you, you want to have something fun at the birthday party, the clowns are so fantastic. Who needs a clown? Bring the reps. I'd be scared. My brother was really scared of clowns. <laughs> Some people are scared of snakes. Some people are scared of clowns. Uh, RealmOfTheReptile.com, on YouTube, on all social media, and in the flesh. Mm -hmm. uh, this Saturday, I came to Kids House. And it's down at the Civic Center. Just $5 to get in. Three, our kids are in the three kids. Great. It's going to be a lot of fun. You guys are amazing. You've, given, you've taken your whole passion for reptiles and you made it a, a whole livelihood out of it. And it's happening right here in Northeast Ohio, based out of Akron, Ohio. Right. We go we go everywhere. If you're listening in Columbus, Sandusky, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, we go there. And we should get there and back in the same day we can we can get you. Hello. Realm of the reptile.com. Andrew, great to meet you. Great to meet you too, Milkshake, and everybody else. Yeah, go go on the social media. What's what's your social media? We're gonna see pictures of Joel with Milkshake. The necklace. Right. At Mix9401 Radio. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you.